my country people. Wait till the year now. Now go bring your university certificate, primary school certificate, secondary school certificate. After I don't blast article some few hours ago, now now Peter will be there. They blast one way. They say it I one way submit the name different from the one it take go university. The one it go university different from the one way it take go secondary school. My people, what now they find? There is difference, big difference between lie and truth. At least. These two people are Tiku and Peter B. We no say they not forge. And uh here, -huh. for Tini Boon, I no know. Mm. So, come come enter the one way President Tinubu go tell Supreme Court. President Tinubu has asked the Supreme Court to dismiss the appeal filed by the 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, the person of Atiku Abubaka. And the opposition party. Oh, now remember, say this our president now come out and put now it be. See almost all the sectors, it don't come out the way they put your own people. If you look what this man is trying to do, this thing boy, it is set up in own people for every strategic point. Every point will be say men in if you go to Tonto, they must happen. If you turn there, they must happen because you know why? Now in your people now they plant they put for day. So if you would look this old Supreme Court of a thing, we can't the year would would say ah say the one we be said of a retire before we don't reach uh, almost 90 years they want bring and come make it come judge this case make it for favor um. so now see i'm saying nothing feel work for nigeria we they say corrupt 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 now the person will be say in be the obo get of corrupt now they put the same people will be say one use for the corrupt system this one now one of the many examples of people will be say in don't come out and put so he does say approve the appointment of Ola Olukoyede as the executive chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, the EFCC. The question I be say, waiting upon to Bawa, was he forced to resign? I think there is suspend person, and if they suspend you, they say they not say anything for you. They will constantly hold me to tell you, say, okay, sorry, we will be suspend you, we will call you back. But for Bawa, we will not hear anything. The next with the year say he don't resign. The same still go to the um, CBN governor. It was also said that he resigned. So how they can't finalize the whole thing before they can't decide to resign. This is what Nigerians do not know. All we know is that our president is come out and put. My country people, which president will ever get for Nigeria? Weigh the interest of the people, not the priority. Not be waiting, think, not be for your selfish interest. My country people, based on the selfish interest, who they talk so, when they hear say, Tinubu want, want ballot the media, he want tighten the media, we be say, do they controlled of what they feel post, what they feel talk. Now they will come the say, the International Center of Investigative Reporting, the ICIR has commenced training of 30 journalists selected for its encountering misinformation and promoting media literacy in Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. Are you kidding me? Hey, who are you, my country people? This is very glaring. Okay, now, when they talk about misinformation, now this present government, now I know say yes, misinformation, they exist. They are the one misinforming us. Oh, now remember several things, maybe say, man, that is spokesman go wrong, come out with they call Fembo. No, why we name Mune Mune, no ma do yo. You go, you're wrong, come and say, ah, now so Tinibu don't travel, go here, or now so don't go make business, international business. You want to bring investors, come, on a lie. Or now so you don't go Dubai, now so you don't go talk to their uh, ruler for Dubai, or now so they don't open road for Nigeria, Nigeria, if you pass now if you travel then all we lie then after we've caught two people read and then you now come and say eh, eh, this is what led to read yes it's still on the way we are still trying to um, finalize it who is giving the misinformation if not 
this present government. In fact, the most shocking misinformation we una give Nigerians, you guys portray that Tinubu had no false certificate and he went to CSU. But yet, why were you restricting the judge and trying to appeal the case and say, okay, and um, please don't let Bola Amin Tinubu credentials or whatever documents come out of the internet space because it's going to damage him because there are a lot of things there, you know, that the world shouldn't see. Uh, uh, I mean, if if you're clean, why don't you just come out clean? So you, they, they are the one misinforming Nigerians. If you don't give person the impression that you have billions of dollars in your house, man, you're not inviting any thief. But because you know that you've got some money inside and you're watching like a white dog. So people will say, ah, okay, okay, yeah, something did that house. And would they Now, go? talking about media literacy. See, this present government now understands, say, doctors say Nigerians will believe anything. Just cook it up write it nicely and post it they will believe for example festus kayamu would i don't see and say most of the tweets we be say it was many years ago or some years ago and compared to the one we be say in the tweet now they are so different you know like it's not the same person like is that not a misinformation is that not media illiteracy if a lawyer could be inconsistent in what he's saying and the same lawyer is working for the same present government then who should be educating who Based on this argument, now one group can come out, can tell President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, say, make it take it back. That word where he talks, say, they want to promote media literacy, that they train journalists, maybe say they can restrict people to wait till they feel they talk about for social media. They want to restrict them. Now this group tell and say, President, take it back. Take it back movement. Reject broadcasting commission social media regulation bill vows to join Nigeria to resist Tinubu obsession with stiffening free speech, my country people. So Tinubu is just going all around. Like, now this one I come, he go respond. Now this one I come, he go respond. <laughs> Commissioning people in those areas, let them take it up. Meanwhile, they read the cocoa with the face Nigerians, they read hunger. You know, so I see another joke away put as CBN governor with the call Cardoso. Many of blessing on my word do make I read them as CB. CBN governor, Mr. Yemi Cardoso, says the economic policy proposal of President Bola Tinubu administration can can achieve a GDP which is gross domestic product of 1 trillion naira 1 trillion naira naira in 8 years <laughs> 1 trillion naira in 8 years or danyo etona who the drink of gogoro no go talk this one no <laughs> 1 trillion naira in 8 years country full country full country one trillion naira in eight years eight eight ah oh jesus <laughs> my country people mona see country where they say they want repair mona see the only way to repair nigeria is true honesty and truth nigeria will put their mind now fear be this so petrol not be this one no not be water see not that they fetch them because the trailer fall. Now, me, you think, person will be say, get this trailer now. It don't go at the loss. People where they fetch her now, they are alive, they are at risk. You now see this one where they waste smoke with full everywhere. So, now things like this where they fall for road, now they cost this one. My country people, the question I be say, if road good, plenty things go good. Now, say road no good, now it cost this one. So, because if road good, many things go good for our lives. It go better our country, it go better our loved ones. It's not about I want to be president, I want to be governor. What are you coming to change? What are you coming to do? And when you come in, come with a clean hand. We be say people will look you talk, say, okay, yes, we know. If they talk and come and say, eh, this person, you know, go to school. Nigeria and I go use their mouth to say, eh, we don't already know. It's not a, a hidden thing. We know, we understand. We take her like that, and so it be. Let's come at truth in everything we are doing. Uh, let's focus on what the BBC uh, put out and why there are so many counter reactions concerning that article. Well, the uh, uh, the fact of the many reactions uh, 
against that particular news uh, report by BBC uh, simply you know, points to the fact that um, it does not seem to agree with what we know to be false. Of course, we are encouraged to uh, fact check. It is one of the tools uh, with which uh, investigative journalists can do a very good job. So that at the end of the day, whatever it is, anybody is uh, reading the uh, or whatever journalists are producing as as their work will be authenticated, will be seen to be uh, not correct. Uh, but in this case, what BBC, in fact, I don't know what BBC was trying to do or what they actually wanted Naseta to uh, achieve. Because the evidence is out there. The deposition of the registrar of the Chicago State uh, University is a document that is there in the open. The certified true copy has been released uh, to the public. And where do we start from? There is evidence to show that the registrar West Bedge was asked specifically if the certificate that Bola Ahmed Tinubu presented to INEC came from them. And he said no. So what did they fact check and what are they trying to do? I think that is why many people are reacting the way they are reacting, because uh, it is now a question of people fact checking the fact not checkers, because what has been found out is that what was actually termed to be the fact checking uh, is turned out to be something different altogether. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the, the of course uh, reactions have been very, you know, pretty bad, you know, you know, to the BBC's um, fact checking. Um, what would you say prompted this? You know, and how relevant really is the BBC's fact checking? in the conversation concerning the president's um, uh, certificate. Um, because there's been people who have also said, you know, Nigerians should move on. You know, there's no need to continue to go back and forth about this. Uh, there are those who, of course, we've interviewed here who said, you know, there's no, you know, once again, there's no need and the president's already there, which allow him to run his four years, you know, in office and, you know, keep, keep it moving that way. In another four years, maybe, you know, whoever it is that wants to try can try again. Um, so, but how relevant is the BBC's report, and why is it even being given this much attention? Those who say we should move on, that after four years, Nobola uh, uh, Ahmed Tinubu will leave the presidency and then we'll get it right. They are not getting it right. And if I may say, I think that is the reason why we are where we are today. See, the BBC is the British Broadcasting uh, Corporation. In Britain, a Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, was forced to resign because he, through a party, during COVID-19, when people were not allowed to be together, and he lied about it. He was found out, called out, and he resigned for throwing a party. And we are saying the same BBC is coming to model the water mm -hmm. in Nigeria, where it has been, at least from the deposition. And this is somebody giving evidence under oath that the certificate which he submitted was forged. And the definition of a forgery is a straightforward thing. When what you claim to be did not originate from the source from which you said it came from, it is, it is as simple as that. And look, we are talking about multiple, multiple uh, uh, forgeries here. Don't forget, okay, 
we are only talking about the Chicago State University certificate. Don't forget that when the president was at the Chatham House last year, he did say specifically that he has received his replacement certificate directly, that the Chicago State University sent him the replacement certificate. So from the deposition of the Chicago State University, it turned out that he was lying. And, you know, there is no better way to put these things because if you say what is not true, if you are economical with the truth, you have lied. And when people say this, the government and its agents go out there threatening people and making all manner of uh, accusations. But if you have lied, you have lied. Because we are talking about evidence supplied by the Chicago State University is the under oath saying that the replacement certificate that the president submitted to INEC did not come from them. In fact, they said they still have the copy of the 19, uh, I think that July 27th uh, copy of the 1999 certificate. So if they still uh, have it, as again, West Bench said under oath. It then means that even the one the president said that he had and which uh, he lost when he went on exile, again, is not true. So we have layers and layers. Okay, are we talking about the government college Lagos, from which he said he graduated in 1970? when the school actually was established in 1974. So what are we talking about? The issue is that the president has been caught pants down in layers and layers and layers of being economical with the truth. And if we stretch this to 1999, when the president said he attended one uh, in a primary school in Ibado and attended government college in Ibado, and he was called out. And in the 2003 uh, form, he submitted to INEC, he refused to fill in his primary school. He left it blank. Secondary school, he left it blank. And that's what impunity does to a people. So to suggest by anybody that this should be allowed to go so that after four years, we'll get it right. Don't forget, APC also presented us with this same problem when President Muhammad Nabuhari also had the same certificate issue. Oh, okay, we let it go. Eight years down the road, has the problem been solved? The answer is no. Eight years down the road, we now have the Tinubu Gate, as it were, as some people are now calling it. So from the Buhari Gate, we now have the, uh, the Tinubu Gate. So if we also allow this to go, I can assure you next four years or next eight years, we will now have now somebody who never went to anywhere and there will be precedence. What did you do to Buhari? What did you do to Tunubu? And why must it be me? So we can't allow this to go. That is part of the reason why this country is not making any progress. Because we have allowed too many things to go. Uh, okay. Thinking that it will get better. It okay. never gets better. All right, Mr. Michi, um, I'd like us to look at uh, this article in two folds. Uh, first off, um, from a journalist's point of view, um, do you think that the Nigerian journalists or the press are indeed taking more time to dig into this story uh, for better explanation to Nigerians. That's one. Uh, do you think journalists, the press, are doing enough? Secondly, um, do you think, uh, I mean, I, I know just yesterday we had talked about the Financial Times story that was published, um, talking about um, uh, the current president 
and how it's going in the past five months. Although they also posted with facts and details of how things are going. They, they focused on the economy. So it's only right for us to also look at another article from the BBC. But do you think that the BBC article should indeed um, rock the boat of this entire conversation? Or do you think it is infinitesimal? It doesn't really matter. I have said categorically that that article matters to the extent that I think it is an attempt to model the, the waters. It is not a credible article. And there is evidence to prove that it's not a credible article. And that evidence is nothing other than what transpired at the Illinois court. There is a deposition which all of us have the certified true copy. And that deposition does not agree with what BBC is putting out there. So to that extent, people should be able to call out that reportage because personally, I don't think it is true. Whether the Nigerian media is doing enough on this uh, certificate saga uh, issue, my own personal opinion is no, we are not. And I was discussing with now somebody uh, the other day, I think that was on Sunday, who said, look, imagine if, if this shoe was to be on the other foot. Imagine if any other person, any other person other than APC and uh, Bola Hamed Tinubu was to be the president today and Bola Tinubu is in the opposition, all hell would have been let loose by now. So, we have a situation where those who know what it, it takes to protest, those who easily call out people on the street, those who know how to agitate, are the same people who are in government. They control the levers of power in the media. And that is why the voice of so many people, particularly those, the critical voice of the media, that is why most of these voices are muted today. It, 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 you can imagine what happened in 2012 when the then president, good luck Jonathan, removed fuel in a subsidy. All hell broke loose. When President Bola Ahmed Tinubu did it from the first day with very, very disastrous consequences, people have moved on and the economy has virtually collapsed. So, to answer your question straight, I don't think that the media is doing enough. And that is a very, very sad commentary on the media. We should be able to have the courage to call out whoever else without minding whose us is God. And the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwajubola Ahmed Tinobu, submitted a forged certificate to INEC and he must be called out and we can't allow it to go. We can't afford to sweep the matter under the carpet because if we do that, Nigeria will be worse for it. Well, I think it's still fair to say allegedly um, mm -hmm. um, concerning the you know, allegations of forgery. Um, Will you expect that the Supreme Court, you know, will, um, you know, be able to look through these facts, you know, that you've mentioned that are on, currently on ground from the deposition, uh, from, you know, previous um, court rulings, from, I think there's also even previous, uh, I, I did see a, a, a court document yesterday that was eventually withdrawn many, many years ago, um, where someone was suing the, the current president for pretty much the same case. And uh, amongst others. 
Um, do you expect that the Supreme Court will be able to look at these very clear facts and um, be able to come to a conclusion that Nigerians will, you know, maybe not generally, but, you know, majority of Nigerians will agree with? I think they should. I think they should, because they uh, sued uh, you are needed to, which was withdrawn many years ago. On this same matter, was withdrawn on technical grounds because they said that uh, uh, then Governor Bola Ahmed Tinubu of Lagos State uh, was protected under Section uh, 308 and had immunity and therefore could not be investigated as the governor. So that case was dropped on that technical ground. It wasn't as if there was no merit in that case. In any case. No, are, are you uh, referring to the are you referring to the twenty eleven case um that was filed by um Attorney General Bello Adoke back then? No, I was referring to that today uh, one of nineteen ninety nine that was pursued by uh the late Chief Naganefawemi oh, that's on a... that issue. Oh, no. I, I was referring we to a different the, one. There's a Belo Adoke case from 2011, um, you know, that, of course, you know, it says here that um, uh, Bolamit Tinubu in 1999, on the occasion of making a statement at the at INEC, uh, submitted uh, the INEC headquarters in Abuja, touching his educational background, um, no, knowingly made a false statement in, in oath, which is stated... Anyway, I don't. it's, it's too long to read, but um, basically accused him once again of you know, making false statements on that old, submitting fake, you know, documents or false documents. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, the case was uh, withdrawn. Um, but go ahead okay. anyway. Well, the, yeah. If that's the one you're talking about, of course, now, the only reason why that case uh, was withdrawn would have been political pressure, not from everybody. Because the president himself... Mm. The president himself had declaimed those na certificates by not including them in the form he filled in 2023. He had denied that he left blank where he ought to have put na primary school. And also he left blank the space for secondary school. So the only thing he had there was Chicago State uh, University. So if he actually attended government college in Bado, as he claimed in 1999, so why leave it out in 2023? See, we have a very, very big problem on our hands. And the reason why this thing has gone on, on and on over the years is because we have allowed impunity to reign. Impunity has emboldened those who have looked Nigerians in the face and say, you can go to hell. That was why somebody could wake up in the morning and claim what he is not, because no matter how much we try to whitewash this, the fact of the matter is that what you claimed in 1999, it is just like you now. If Five years ago, you said you attended this in a secondary school. In the next one million years, if you attended that secondary school, it should be a fact that you attended the secondary school. So if you claim and nobody has come out to discuss the fact that they claim or that the president claimed he attended the one uh, the primary school, uh, uh, Aroloya, in Ibado, children's school, Aroloya, and then he attended government college in Bado. There is no evidence to show. And the president himself has left out those spaces blank in the form he filled in 2003, confirming that what he did in uh, uh, 1999 may not have been correct. And in the documents released by uh, Chicago State University. We are now seeing government college Lagos. So when and where did government college Lagos come in? In any case, even the government college Lagos, you are saying you graduated in 1970. 
when the government college in Lagos was set up in 1974. So, my brother, there must be an end to all these layers of lies. You know, the problem with lies is that you must tell more lies yeah. continuously in yeah. order to cover whatever you have said in the past. Yeah, Mr. Nigerians Mitchell. cannot allow this. Yeah. To go. Just no. to clarify, just to clarify, the Belo Adoke document I was speaking about earlier um, uh, says that he made a false statement on oath that he uh, attended government college Badon between 1962 and 1965, um, both dates inclusive, whereas in truth did not attend said school within the stated period um, uh, that he that is mentioned. And of course, it's punishable under Section 191 of Criminal Code. This and that. Just to clarify, it, it's, it's government college Badon, 1962 to 1965. Um, that Bill yes, was I am, saying, I, yeah. I am saying that even the president himself under oath has disclaimed those yeah. those na certificates because in, in his INEC form in 2023 he left the space for secondary school blank if for crying out loud he graduated from government college a bad he should be proud to include it in his form because it is required yeah now we are seeing government college lagos in the new see i think i think president bola ahmed has taken nigerians for a ride for far too long and it oh. is unfair it is unfair because what is uh happening now is that out there every nigeria will negatively impacted by this issue every certificate you provide anywhere in the world will be seen as fake until you prove it is real and that's and that's not fair that's not fair the president is being unfair that to nigerians and he should be forcefully called out. The honorable thing for him to do at this stage, because he has been caught flat-footed on this issue. He does not have the certificates he is claiming that he has. Here is on a BOD TV, but we will analyze on the trends of the app. We will like a video now. We will like a video now.